Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing today? How are you? I'm good. I'm enjoying the fact that it's sunny outside. Oh, I know, although yesterday morning it was super cold and then it got really warm. Got my towels dried on the line and all the thrills of being an adult. <laughs> the excitement here is that when you can get the washing out and the <laughs> that, That's the thing though, you see Scottish weather is not the same as all the weathers around the world. No. So I'm yeah, very excited about drying your towels. Every season in one day, usually. But, yeah. But actually, that's not what's the most exciting thing this week because no. it's release week! Ooh. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining us for our live today. And um, I'm hoping that you will stick around and get crafty with us. Morgan, what are we going to be doing in today's live stream? So I'm going to be making a birthday card using the new Quality Hugs stamps mm -hmm. and the Go Wild frame dies and nice. also the Farmyard Fun stamps. Oh, yeah. a little bit of a mishmash. And who's this card for? Well, I've got a couple of birthdays in May, so mm -hmm. it's going to be for one of the May birthdays. <laughs> I also have a couple of birthdays in May coming up, um, family birthdays. But um, I am making a thank you card today. So I'm actually going to be using some other products from the new release. I think I might use the Go Wild Frame Dies. Oh, hold on. Um, turning off. Right um, I'm going to use the Go Wild Frame Dies, but I'm also going to use the Slimline Scallop Peekaboo Die. Let's turn this camera around so that we can have a little look. So I'm going to be using this oh, wrong one, Slimline uh, Scallop Peekaboo Dye here. Oh, still wrong one. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think I might actually add some vertical vines onto the background because I really like this stencil. It's really pretty. And I know that you guys have been sharing much love for the 2x2 two two Safari Animals. So I'm going to use some of these as well. Um, probably the little capybaras because I think they're super, super cute. And I also wanted to let you guys know about this. This is the main squeeze stamp. Do you want to tell everybody about this stamp? Sure. So the main squeeze is our promotional stamp for this release. Um, previously he was only available if you placed a pre-order but because he is just super duper cute you can still get him for a little while longer mm -hmm. but all you have to do to get him is place an order on the Heffy Doodle shop and it's got to be over £30. Which is easy peasy when you're buying crafty. Yeah. Um, and if you actually have an order that's over £45 not only will you get the stamp but you'll also get the coordinating dies too. So what's not to love? Uh, we've got someone here from Facebook. It is just coming up as Facebook user in the comments. Hi! So you've already started. Tell everybody what you have stamped. So I have stamped my two koalas and their little branch over here from Koali Hugs and the tiny mobile phone. I've got my wee farmer girl from Farmyard Fun and also this net from No Matter What. Um, and there's also with bless you. you with quality hugs you did a teeny tiny little baby koala so i'm going to pop him up here i think i'm gonna do a bit of masking and i also have got a little hat for the Cute. farmer so i'm gonna mask that too nice um so i have pulled out here laura's here hello i spoke to laura the other day that was exciting <laughs> um, so this is the um stitch stone line tree or the largest one so this is basically the base of what a card would be, a slimline card. And then this here is the slimline scallop peekaboo dies. Now this die set has got this gorgeous frame which has this scallop inside piece here. It's great for matting and layering. Or you can actually just make a card in this size and have a, um, a frame which is flush with the outside edge. I know some people are enjoying making slightly smaller um, slightly smaller slim lines at the moment and um, but also in this die set you also get some other dies here there louise say hey guys been a while i know mean, well, what happens when you have a release and you're just absolutely exhausted and zoinked but yay now we get to play with it so in this set you also get this large thanks welded word like jumbo sentiment die and of course the shadow to go with it so i'm going to be using this on my card today and this is kind of the star of the show of this die set which is the peekaboo die now this peekaboo die has been designed 
to work perfectly on your slim lines it can work this way and you can have sort of like a lift the flap situation one two three or you can put it this way where it can go up or down and it will actually fit in here as well up and down so lots of options for this little shape but i don't think i'm going to use that today actually am i here made it to a morning live yay and uh, amanda says i really love that die set i love it too so i'm going to use uh, i'm going to layer this and this together and i'm going to have my banks on top right in the middle and then i think i'm going to add a selection of critters around about definitely going to use mr lion from the main squeeze what's wrong you just realized that doesn't make sense to have her hat behind her head does it you need to stamp the hat first need and then stamp the hat first well, let's just do the hat separately and we'll stick it on okay we'll make it a look mm -hmm. all right so i'm going to start with some um vertical vines i think now i wanted to talk a little bit about this diet this stencil even because one of the things that you'll realize you'll need to catch up in comments so that i can chit chat one of the things you realize is that it um because of the way that the design goes in this vertical section it kind of you know you can kind of pull it apart a little bit like this that is normal i had the choice of whether to do little connectors here and there but to be honest i didn't really like the way that egged up i liked it better like this so because of this the best results are going to be made if you use your blending tools whether it's a brush or a foam blending pad and you go with the vine like this as soon as you start going up and down these are going to want to move a little bit and we don't want that we want to make sure you get the best results i have seen some people use a like a sticky mat a bit like for like a scan and cut and they've put down like a small piece of card and then this on top and it kind of grips onto the stencil that looks really good i think i might try that at some point oh my gosh i'm gonna appear here and i've not seen you in forever hope you are all keeping well who else do we have the paper kindness code jessica nice such fun right i don't know what color shall i go for morgan one of the other things I wanted to do was use the Go Wild frame dies and kind of layer this up to create almost like a frame coming through. And that was another idea I had to show versatility. Do you want to pick a color? <gasps> oh, yeah. Tell everybody what this is. So, uh, basically, I figured out that when I'm crafting, I much prefer to have something visual here for picking colors and stuff because otherwise I could spend hours staring at the uh, Distress Oxides and Inks. Mm -hmm. And then I sometimes have picked one and used it and I've thought, oh, I wish it was brighter because I thought it looked brighter in the box. So I die cut tons of these. I think these are the little tags from the mini, mini essentials. essentials. Mm -hmm. And I have got, I haven't finished actually, that's a lie. I was going to say I have all of our Distress Inks and Oxides on here, but I don't. But basically I just made a little swatch card for everything and I labeled them. So nice. Now I can look at these instead of the drawer. I like it. And we have a similar swatch out in the Heffy HQ with our cardstock colours, but I feel like we need to do cardstock swatches and keep it in the craft room as well. Yeah, I think we should. So, this is going to be our background coming through. And then we're going to have some fun vines coming up. So I think I might actually go for shabby shutters on a, maybe a, like a butterscotch or something. I want like almost a small tone on tone seal. So let me get some cardstock. I forgot you filled these earlier and now I'm like, oh, it's not dry. It's really juicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Copic struggle. <laughs> Well, not that one, so I'll just swap that one for something. What is that one? E31. E31? 
Let's try E33. That's much better. <laughs> All right, I actually changed my mind. Not better scotch at all. Hint of mint. I think that's going to be too green then. We go all greeny. Yeah, I'm going to change my mind again. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Laura has said that she likes to use a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi on the stencil to keep it in place. Oh, good shout. When it's dry, it stays tacky, but it removes without harming the cardstock. That's a wonderful tip. I love that. That is. It's always fun when you get to share crafty tips with your friends. I agree. I'm going to go for some. Oh, this is going to be my base panel. I'll cut that down to three and a half inches. I'm thinking blue dungarees is the right choice here. Oh, a little bit of denim. A little bit of denim. And I'm going to go for somewhat of a tone on tone. I've changed my mind away from shabby shutters now that I've got a colour here. <laughs> Standard. I'm also doing that thing that you hate where I'm putting these back in upside down and having to swap them back around so you can see the stickers. I... Given the fact that I weighed every single one of them, then yes, I did hate that. <laughs> I'll be honest. What about peacock feathers? In fact, let's just go for a little selection. A cheeky wee selection. Yes, a little bit of craft. No, a little bit of salvage patina. Patna. Patna. I told you, I'm sure I heard James May from Top Gear call it Patna. Still doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> <laughs> but at least somebody else got it wrong. For sure. <laughs> so let's see. Just have a little peacock feathers. A little bit of salvaged patina or patina. Let us know. <laughs> salvaged Pattinson. <laughs> a little bit of Rob Pattinson, whatever you call him. <laughs> And maybe a cracked pistachio for a for a tri blend of colours. <laughs> Exciting. Michelle is here. Hello, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. She's Daigle. No, Gib. Uh, Michelle says, Hi ladies, excited to see what you're doing. I've just received my parcel today Yay! with farmyard fun and utterly fabulous stamps. I'm looking forward to playing with them. Happy crafting! Happy oh, wow. crafting! Oh, wrong one. I press wrong one. <laughs> right, salvaged patina. Crack the pistachio! And we got feathers. Alrighty. So my card is of course in slimline, my stencil is not. So we will have to move it along and redo it. That's fine. I'm going to use some scotch tape. I had been, had been using some purple tape, but I don't know what it is about my purple tape, whether it's I've got a dodgy one or whether they've changed the, um, they've changed it mm -hmm. because my latest purple tape is like, not sticky at all. Like just falling off everything. Which is a little sad. So Morgan, you know that I ordered some Copics this morning. Uh -huh. uh, for those of you in the UK, Copens is doing a special promotion where you order three Copics and you get a free refill. So I took advantage of that little offer. 
and um, I will now have every chow color. Every chow color. Every chow color. That is crazy. In fact, I think two or three of the colors that I ordered were like, I don't really care about these colors, but my full set syndrome is really <laughs> kicking in here. Um, I don't want to get over this edge, so I'm going to mask it off using some heavy metal tape. Perfect for this kind of thing. And you'll see that I'm moving with this stencil. I'm only going vertically at the moment. If I do have a little circle, it's a very small little smudgy. Very, not a big wide one. Do you know what it just makes me think of? What? Remember Surf's Up, the film yeah. with the penguins, when they were making the surfboard and he goes, with the grain. With the, the grain. grain. With the stencil. Yeah, go with the stencil. I feel like I could just colour all day actually. All day? I'm sorry, you've got too much job to do. <laughs> I'll just not make a card, I'll just colour more things in. <laughs> Some people do that. <laughs> Let's I do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see how some of the design team have combined the stony Maloney stencil with the cows? It makes the perfect cow splot. I did see that. I made a, a cow card like that. But what I also did, Amanda, I want to look over here. Um, that might be, uh, if it's the card I'm thinking of, it might be the one that went on its uh, holiday okay. tomorrow. Okay. Or yesterday. So to, uh, um, I also course. used this stony Maloney card with um, some orange and brown tones and put the giraffe on the front uh, I think I actually added a bit of gold like pearly powder to it too so it had a bit of a sheen so the stony maloney stencil will work as cow splatters but also for brilliant giraffe splatters so that's exciting speaking of splatters I think I'm going to splatter this because why not be rude not to I'm gonna keep my uh, oh away from your giraffe spot! Yay! What did you say? He's keeping your card. He does well. Oh my gosh! Look, I was literally just gonna say, do not trust me, and then I spilled it all over his. So apparently, that's the right thing to do. Not trust me. Oh, it's so exciting, you guys, to actually share the new release. It's really hard not talking about oh, it <laughs> for so long. People are like, when? show what's in there and you're like work on diet and you're like oh i really want this thing and you're like mm-hmm <laughs> yeah about that yeah yeah somebody said that about something was it giraffes or something and i were like mm -hmm. oh funny well, imagine that giraffe. hang around hello hello i don't know why facebook is doing a strange thing where it's not giving us your names when you leave comments whoever said hello beautiful ladies is just coming up as Facebook user. So hello back. But we don't mystery know you. commenter. <laughs> mystery crafter Rooney. All right, let's pull off my stencil. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. It's Becky Marco. Hello. Yay. Becky. Wonder how Becky and Carl got on at Creative Vision. All right. Let's move this down a little bit. And add. A little more tape up here. Reposition this bad boy. Get it right back down on the spot again. And we'll get inky again. So 
so good. So which is your favorite one of those um, koalas, Morgan? Oh, that's a tough choice. I know. Um, I feel like I have to look at them all and decide. <laughs> I like the little manny sitting down here. He's mm -hmm. pretty cool. He looks like really chuffed with himself. Yeah. Isn't he? He just He's like, I just bought a whole collection of cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, that is that face. Yeah. Uh, but I also really like the one that is sleeping on the uh, branch. He's like, I just can't today. He's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> he is relatable. <laughs> For sure. Speaking of, what colour is a koala's nose? Is it black? I think it's like a really dark like grey. Grey brown. I don't know. Let's ask the audience. What colour would you make a koala's nose? Answers in the comments, please. Whew. Love ink background, but it does take a bit of time. Koalas have a really dark nose, says Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. And Facebook user potentially Becky says. Dark grey or black. Oh, I think it missed out his ears. That was rude. I have done that before. Too busy worrying about his nose that I also haven't coloured him. Let me use this one now. I'll splatter with some water mixed with a little bit of Perfect Pearls. Did you order some more Perfect Pearls? Uh, it's on the order for me. Yes. Mm, lovely jubbly. I love this. Also looks really cool. There's like vines coming down. Be cool if you had like a vertical vines. Serengeti. Oh well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Man, if she googled koala to color yeah. the We've all been there. Problem is, I can't Google on a live stream. I can't cheat. <laughs> mm. Sometimes on my live stream on a Friday night, I do that. I'm like, hold on. I need you guys to cheat for me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Give this guy a little. Clean up. When we get upstairs finally renovated, I'll have a sink between the pencils and that's exciting. All right, so that's my vertical vines. Pop them back in his home. Looking luscious. Now, because I use scotch tape and this panel is going to just be stuck onto a note card, I'm not going to even attempt to remove the tape. I'm just going to cut it away, flush on the edge, because, well, I have a bad track record of pulling tape away. There's a reason why we made heavy metal tape. <laughs> you know? I don't want to rip the back of my card. Nice. This is a nice colour, this little hat. You know what? I don't even remember which markers I picked for it. <laughs> but they're not the colour I thought they were going to be, I will be honest. <laughs> it's kind of uh, worked out. Yeah. Alright, so I wanted to use the Go Wild A2 frames and actually can show you a way to stretch your stash a little bit, I guess. So I'm going to use this and um, die cut it a couple of times. And then kind of layer it up to create a background, which I think I'm going to layer behind this frame here. So I might go for a slightly darker green, maybe a green bean. So let's cut this down. Sorry to reach over you, Morgan. Oh, apparently it's not over there. Never mind. 
Um, I moved the trimmer over that way. <laughs> That's where it's living currently. Just love this little baby. He's just the cutest. Yeah, cute, isn't he? I've seen a lot of on Instagram just now, so. Wombats. Huh? I'm saying I've seen a lot of wombats on Instagram. They're adorable. I think they're quite like koalas, though. They seem quite like koalas. Yeah. That are videos of capybaras. Oh. My favourite one is there is one of a capybara in like a little pool and he has an orange on his head. Really? I don't know why there's an orange on his head, it just is. I feel like you need to show me this. Actually the capybaras in the safari animals have had lots of lovely comments. Mm -hmm. Callie nearly lost it, didn't she? <laughs> she did. <laughs> You can't not love him though. <laughs> Amanda says, I've been trying to convince Micah that we need a baby wombat. Yeah, I think I think yeah. we should get one and then we should go and visit it. Yeah, for sure. I'm up for that. Ranger has left us. He's like, you guys are coughing. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Trying to replace me and my cuteness. Right, so I've cut out two frames here. Oh, some water there. Oh, that's his foot. Whoops. He really coloured his foot in green. Oh, my. I thought it was a leaf. Don't remember what colour to use for him. Leaf alone. It was the warm greys wherever they've disappeared too. Looks like a warm grey. All right, so we're going to pop out all of these little bitties here that help create the, the wild frame. And I'm going to use it next. Not texture. I've missed, his no I've missed their noses. All right, so you can see how this will kind of um, pop behind here which is going to be really cool so i'm going to move this around to see what extent i want to put these so where this frame pops in like here i'm going to cut it like so maybe here as well and i'm going to I cut this frame and I think I'm gonna go right and kind of make a big uh, impact I think that would be cool and then I can stick these elements right behind it let's do that shall we dear why not Laura says she loves the wildlife webcams and a capybara wandered across the screen the other day <laughs> definitely need to to see that I think when you first see a capybara, you're like, "What is it? What? What is that?" Because it, it kind of has this strange, looks like multiple creatures situation. To me, um, I mean, it seems like a guinea pig on steroids. Ooh, so nice. I like it. Right. So, this we're going to add to our frame in some way. I think that would work. And we can cut this across here.
go. Pop out these little dots. And I think I'll just trim this down ever so slightly so it doesn't throw out the edge. Oh, your phone's gone to stand back. Oh, Simon, it's come back. There we go. Can you find it? We got there. Has it returned? It has. Okay, so let me add some thin tape. around the inner edge of this slim line scalp peekaboo frame. You're die cutting already, I haven't even stopped anything. Yeah, but I've not done any of the rest of my card. I'm glad to see that we have like done a inadvertent swap C and all that. <laughs> So now, now, no matter what your favourite part of card making is, you can see both of it yeah, at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, hello. Dun, dun. I need to put the timer on my phone. I always forget. All right. So has anyone else um received their delivery yet had their goodies arrive so much fun potentially a painful question for everyone still waiting no. <laughs> don't remind me it's not here yet there we go look see how that looks super cool i love it um and then we're gonna add I don't know whether I'm going to put it everywhere or whether I'm just going to add it, add certain things. Might be cool just to have on each corner. I think so. You feeling that? I'm feeling that. Okay. Ooh, hello, the golden die is falling out of the pocket. Come back. Trim down the frame section. Pop out little little guy. I'm making a right mess over here today. Usually that's my job. I know. I just realized I've colored this phone in red like my phone. <laughs> that was purely accidental. Your red and mine's yellow. Uh -huh. Do you know what? I had a yellow Nokia when I was in high school. It was the brightest yellow I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's trim this down. Let's give it one more color. And adhere. Like so. I'm liking it. I just want a little bit more of a balance. So I'm going to add another leaf down here. Now, what does go really well with these dies is the, what do you call them, Amazonian leaves Yeah. dies. And I know some of the design team have used those as well. To create some fun designs. There we go. What do you think? It's so cute. That looks good. 
because that really um, looks super cool across the background. I'll pop these back into the the um, pouch with the die. Oh, I don't know if I've got it over at the side. Okay, you pop them in there. Or I could just steal it from my card. Oh, sure, if it's the right colour. I was gonna, you, uh, yeah. You could just anyway. egg on top of it if you really wanted to. How fortuitous! That worked out, didn't it? Mm. Now, if one of you could just stop and colour all of my critters, that'd be great. I mean, do you want me to be here all day? <laughs> I could be here all day. <laughs> you definitely colour fast, a lot faster than I do. <laughs> Yeah, my oh, right. He's fun. He is fun, isn't he? Yeah, those are all um, straggly bits. All right. We've got our background. We have our um foreground as well. And I'm going to raise this up onto some foam, I think. No, did you bring in that foam tape? I on? did. I popped it on the actual tray in the trolley though, because I don't know if it will withstand being. Oh yeah, we had a foam accident. Yeah. Look at the map foam accident. Well, that's okay because that means I can use it for my craft room. It still works. Yeah, it's just a little bit funky. Listen, we like the weirdos here. We like the weirdos. All right, I think so. I think everyone's a little bit weird, really. Everyone just have to embrace yourself, even if you do not conform to the standards that society puts on normal foam tips. <laughs> normal foam tips. <laughs> I thought you were going to say normal people here. Oh, that's really inspiring. <laughs> I no. mean, there's no such thing as non normal. <laughs> 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 We don't dis discriminate against foam tape. No. <laughs> All shapes and sizes. <laughs> All widths and depths. <laughs> All widths and depths. Is <laughs> nice. All right. So we've got thanks going in here. And a little shadow, I think. Gonna look great on there. But we do need some critters. Critter, critters. Be rude not to have some critters. I know. Right. Pass me some critters. What critters would you like? Uh, wildlife. Do I have them over here? Yeah, I think you've got them over there. Yeah, in this stash. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to use um, main squeeze first and foremost because you guys can get this stamp for free. Hopefully you were listening earlier when Morgan told you how to do it, but if not, I'll just keep for the sake of clarity. Um, the main squeeze is an exclusive stamp set. It is not yet released. You cannot buy it. This is physically impossible to buy this stamp set at the moment. Um, we are only, uh, the only way to get it is to get it free from us. Um, and so we are doing a promotion whereby if you spend £30 on the store, you will get a free stamp set or the main squeeze stamp set. And if you have an order that's actually over £45, then you'll get the main squeeze stamps and the main squeeze die. So what's what have you got the alcohol marker friendly cardstock? It's in that one there. Oh, it's even hiding in plain sight. So we'll go for a main squeeze. Let us know in the comments what your favourite item from the release is. That would be cool to know. And then we'll have a main squeeze. And you think a capybara or two? Oh, I think so. 
Let me refresh the uh, comments in the chat. Yeah, I can do that. Um, let me check the desktop. Boom. We've got the capybara or two. Are you going to add some ink on that? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go for a rustic wilderness, I think. Yeah. Big fan of that one. I just love this little guy's like face. He's so like smug or something. I don't know. Just like he's living his best life. I feel like I might want to go one darker actually. You do multiple tones. Tone on tone on tone. One tone tone. I'd say two tone. Three tone. Four tone. As you wish. As you wish. Speaking of as you wish, mm -hmm. me and Keenan did a bit of a quiz last night mm -hmm. with a Spotify playlist and guess the, the movie the song was from. Oh, okay. Um, because we'd been watching a YouTube channel and they did a movie quiz on that. Yeah. With a, with a board game. And one of the quotes they had in the board game, um, as you wish. And Keenan was like, nah, I'd never have gotten that in a million years. Like, what do you mean you've not seen the Princess Bride? <laughs> Has he not? No. That's ridiculous. I think that's like a cult classic. One of my favourite. Is it? I read the book actually. And I was surprised that the book is just as like zany as the yeah. film. So if you like the film, I would totally recommend reading the book. There you go. Oh, these Copics are so much better now that they've been refilled. This is a public service announcement to let you know to go ahead and refill those copics. <laughs> I'll try a bit of peeled paint, I think. I don't know what the chat's doing on your phone. I don't know either. Not What's everybody? A, not having a good time with it. So cute those little guys. Where's my E35? Oh, I used it earlier. Is this one that's upside it down? It might be upside down if it's not. Do you know why? Do you know why? When I score my Copic, see, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. It took me forever. There's a little grey bit on your brush nib side. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so you don't, because I for ages kept opening the chisel pit, which I don't personally use. So the little grey band shows you which your brush nib side is. So I store all of mine up this way with the grey at the top. So I always pull it out and I'm just ready to go. So what you're saying But your stickers are on the other end of some of them. Well maybe we just need to swap the, <laughs> the lids around. There is method to my madness. This is like a, a colouring challenge, trying to cope it colour within the lines while uh, I'm shugling. shugling <laughs> the Fine, I've finished shugling for now. I have a wee splatter, so I'm going to move everything out of the way for that. In fact, you're probably okay with the cope in the way. Yeah, I've got a barrier. Let me restart these comments because it's really? obviously not having a. I'm hoping yeah. the stream is still going and it's not cut. Ah, yeah, just, you like, better go check. Talking to ourselves. I better check. See what it says on my phone. Please hold for this brief intermission while we check that everything's working. Dee 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 dee. This is the like elevator music. It says live. This is like meta. Look, I'm watching the stream on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Do oh, there's tons of comments. Whoa, hold on here. Okay, well, you'll need to play catch up. Cause... Bear with while I catch up with these. There's Sony Maloney. We've read that one. 
Did we say hello to Candy? Hey, Candy! No, I didn't know Candy was there. Candy's here. Laura's parcel's coming between 9.56 and 10.56 tomorrow morning. Oh, amazing. I love it when they do that. Uh, the Circle Guru says, good morning from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Nice. Hello. Hey. So lovely to have you here. Michelle got her main squeeze stamps and dies. Nice, nice. Amanda's just placed another order. Oh, and then it happens. And now, based on that, this comment, holy moly, Morgan, you have to watch it. It's the best movie ever. It's totally Princess Bride, right? Yeah, but you have watched it, but it's Keenan I have that watched it. The end. It's, yeah, we need to convince him. I mean, he made me sit through The Godfather. The least he could do is watch The Princess Bride. Princess <laughs> Bride is iconic. But the thing is, like, it, it probably hasn't aged that well. Like, it, a lot of it is the nostalgia factor. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Let us know. Do you think The Princess Bride has aged well? Or do you think maybe it's uh, for someone who hasn't seen it before? Would it still have its... Uh, it's a bit of a cult classic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Circle Hooter says, we can still see and hear you. So that's good. Ooh. Sarah Louise says, she stores her Copics grey band down. So the ink is down. Ah, that makes sense. So your, your brush nibs all nice and inked up. What? Uh, she's unable to store them. Grey band down. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I like to put it down because then I lift it out like this and pull off like, like this because otherwise you have to it's awkward to pull up the top. <laughs> uh, amanda says pear, um i was supposed to say pear blossom breast the movie that's mm -hmm. a new one yeah. uh, princess bride holds up that's well just lots of rabbits and then light up things <laughs> yeah. special guest star the wombat yeah hint, hint. <laughs> oh my god and candy says it's her daughter's favorite movie Oh, yay! I'm going to leave this open and make sure my sound is down so you guys don't hear us repeating at a weird delay and check the comments that way. The only problem is I now can't see the Facebook comments. So apologies to people watching on Facebook right now. We're a bit in the dark for some we weird can't reason. get it all to work. Right, what am I doing? Splattering. Right, I'm going to move these bad boys out of the way. This nib on the E31 has gone all weird. You notice it's it? not, So it's not just me then, it is E31's just being funky, right? Like, so it's like really jelly-like. I've actually got replacement nibs. Oh, I could maybe, I could maybe uh, lend you one. You could shout me one. Because I bought them. Not some of my lighter colours, but a colouring book that I bought. Mm -hmm. It was not like and going anywhere the... Uh, the black ink which is you know it's fine as long as you can color inside the lines mm -hmm. so i bought some replacements because my like skin tones which were really really pale were getting a little bit I'm just struggling looking. a bit he's so handsome though isn't he he's just so adorable he's just adorable i think i might get my pink nose a pink nose mm -hmm. Why not? I think he could rock that pink nose. Look at you and your splatters. Hello. Where did you have leveled up in all your craftiness, by the way? I'm learning, I'm learning from good people. Mm. You mean me, me right? Yeah. <laughs> Amongst others. <laughs> Just kidding. Speaking of, if you guys haven't done the blog hop yet, you're missing out. Yep, absolutely. Um, I know Sophia's post in particular has lots of tips that you really want to check out. Don't just look at the photos, look at, read the comments, read, read, the, read the text. Definitely gonna. Candy says she loves quoting the Princess Bride. Inconceivable, inconceivable. Inconceivable. The good <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? This. Come here. I also like the, uh, you, um, is it now? My name is Amigo Montoya. My name? You killed my father. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Oh, oh and Amanda Martin, said... what is this white splatter on my camera? Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's an just, accent now. It's a beauty <laughs> spot. <Yeah. laughs> Told you it just goes everywhere. It's on my phone. 
Oh no! The thing is with the coffee is that it kind of dries raised up and then you just like flick it off. Believe me, I know because I had to flick off several from Craig's monitor. <laughs> yeah, I've got it on your phone as well. Whoops. Yeah, it'll be fine. My phone that I've already been uh, saying choice words at all week. <laughs> oh, there's been a lot of choice words thrown at that phone. <laughs> Drama in the office. Drama. Drama llama, some might say. Might want to put that. They are all Who is this card going to be for then, Morgan? Well, Mum's birthday's in May, and so is Cat. When is your When is Mum's birthday? Mum's is the twenty first. Oh, you got loads of time. You have to give that to me for my mother in law, which is the thing. I just want. But Amanda says, I realised recently mm -hmm. that I've been taking the lids off my sketch markers wrong, and I've ruined a bunch of them. Eight dollars each. I'm very sad. I am sad for you. What does that life. mean? Taking them off wrong? Well, my I'm probably doing it wrong too. What does that mean? But that's what Laura says. There's a wrong one. Yeah, please, please enlighten us because we're all freaking out over here. Oh, look, um, Mr. Lion has a beauty spot now too. Oh, bye. I don't know what I'm doing now. I need to assemble this. Card. That's what I need to do. Card assemble. Actually, is this? Why are we drawing? We're drawing. Yeah, that's you, good. Might, you can always take it like flat and then pat Dab it them. down but it does um i'll grab a hotline good shot look at mr lion he's coming to say hello you can take this lion home with you for free and all you need to do is place an order at happy doodle.com i just made it up pretty good yeah <laughs> Nice. Right. Let's see where we is at. We've got a little uh, background happening here. Um, what I am a fan of is the fact that this is now raised up, so it has made the um the leaves here kind of pop a bit more. Read. <laughs> Such a grump. Such a grump. Ooh, I know. Oh, what I'm thanks. Uh, some critters. I have gone over the line here in my capybara, so we're going to do a Morgan. And hide the crimes. Hide the crimes. The little white gel pen. This is you know what? I pear found blossom the other gel pen. This is the pear blossom press white gel pen. You want to straight? I found the other one. It was under the sofa. Under the sofa? I noticed when I moved. What were you doing under the sofa? Well, I moved the trolley when I was tidying up the desk, ready for the live, and something just caught the corner of my eye at the foot of the sofa, and it was the pen. Nice. So I found them. So there should be two in that cup now. Awesome sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use the Build a Bamboo stencil. Oh, the old bamboo, the old bamboo. And I'm thinking about life a little bit are you now yeah i want to put my thanks in here but i'm contemplating what colors i should go for something's yelling pink to me you think that's yeah, rare i don't know why <laughs> that's rare <laughs> Rude. there's unfortunately a joke in there that we can't reveal quite yet i know it's like <laughs> about something not yet released revealed see this is the problem with doing these I releases know. right i'm chucking a bit of metal tape in behind here because the last time i played with the build a bamboo stencil i forgot those leaves <laughs> at the top and ended up with some floating leaves so i'm just gonna do this it happens i feel like i'm not going to be able to see these now i'm going to cover it all up Oh, press the button. Right, I'll check comments first. Ah, uh, here's the rule with your Copics. Do not twist the lid. I twist the lid all the time. It cracks the oval caps and your marker will die. Oh, I don't use oval caps. The centre dries up and crystallises. No refilling will save them. Twi so say again, do not twist, don't twist the oval caps. 
but they'll die. Interesting. I'm sad. Isn't it though? That's one of these horrible lessons that you've learned the hard way, isn't it? And like you say, they're not cheap. No, not even, well they're not cheap over here. I think, what are they from? Hot hands, is it six pound for a sketch marker, I think? Chow's like four, but yeah, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap one, love. However, Amanda is saying she fell in love with the OLOs at Creativation. What? She said, Did I say that right? I asked for them. Do you know what, actually, I ended up watching um, Cassie from our design team. She had a video with, I think it was Zebra, the mm -hmm. pen people at Creative Asian. And I watched a bit of it and I was like, oh, I just want to buy pens now. <laughs> I don't write enough to need any pens, but... Doesn't mean you don't want them. Yeah. That was me today at a shop buying uh, coloured pencils because they were pretty. I was like, oh, these will look nice in photos. So I'm not actually wanting them. They use them as the pencil. <laughs> I just want, to, want them to look pretty in uh, in a photo. Laura says, ha ha, when's the next release? Can you stop already? You know, right? We're like, we gave you one. <laughs> yeah, at least it was yesterday. We've not yet, you know, got over the mental breakdown that follows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I feel if I'm right in saying this, it's going to be a lot sooner than the gap between oh, release 11 sure, and 12. For sure. Definitely. We had, uh, we had quite a few health Bumps challenges the road. between the last release and this release. So I can tell you that much for sure. Yeah. You can you can hold me to that now. Yep. <laughs> Even the fact that there's a box of stencils in my front door. <gasps> dun, 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 I forgot they were there actually. Just take them in there. Yeah, bring them out. All right, I did a little kitsch flamingo on here. Did you know? <laughs> I mean, I did a little inking of kitsch flamingo on here. <laughs> Not just like. Oh no! Wrong one. Wrong oh, oh, organ. I was gonna do a kitsch line. flamingo. There Ready? Oh 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 oh. I did a little kitsch for me. You can't see my leg. Kitsch for me. <laughs> I need to have like sunglasses or something on so I can like truly be kitsch. <laughs> Not that I really know what that word means. I said, is that what that means? <laughs> I, have, I see tons of stuff described as kitsch all the time. I have no idea what it means. Uh, answers in the comments, please. What does it mean? Yeah, <laughs> come to Google it for me. <laughs> or explain the concept. I feel like it's like quirky or fun or... It made me think sort of Kath Kidson. I don't know if that's a universal brand. Hmm, I don't know. Which are very I like floral. Like... Yeah. Kind of old uh, Okay, warnings. I'm going to do some splattering. <laughs> You're neater when you splatter than I am, so I'm not really worried about it. Famous last words. <laughs> Let me catch up on comments. Comments would be really useful if my actual comment thing would work. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know. Are you coming through, Omji? They're not coming through the desktop either, which makes me think it's a restream problem. Must be a restream problem. Which is not helpful. But. So the circle guru says, I can't wait to see more creations with the OLOs. Yeah, me too. Well, I, I can't, I want to get my hands on them. Uh, and Amanda says, I think you can twist the round caps. Yeah, it would make sense, I think. Um, and apparently the OLOs are a good price point for like your starting marker collection. Well, that's always a really good thing yeah. too. I know um, our lovely Natalie. Is it OLO or is it OLO? OLO. I know Natalie has been a fan of the... Oh, I've just forgotten the name of them. Hulu? 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 Yes, <laughs> she's been using them. That's just me being funny now. Here we go. Candy has rescued us with the definition of kitsch. Nice. Uh, art, objects, or design considered to be in poor taste <laughs> because of excessive garishness or sentimentality but sometimes appreciated in an ironic or knowing way. Okay, say that one more time, slow. So, something that's considered in poor taste because it's really, like, out there, but it's sometimes a bit of, like, an ironic or a sort of, you know it's out there kind of thing. So do you think it is a bit like 
a flamingo on the lawn where it's like yes. it was once tacky but now it's like a retro throwback almost isn't yeah. it yeah i think that's we're learning things today <laughs> i can't believe look at us crafting learning hanging out with our crafty friends Amanda says she always thinks of 1950s Bakelite when she hears kitsch. <laughs> that I remember my one. dad had a, like an old um, vintage car and we would go to these, oh, it's not big enough. We would go to these like vintage days and one of his jokes was that when Bakelite came out, apparently the factory people, the guys who manufactured were like, Oh, and the whole interior of this car is, is car is Bakelite, and you can have it in any color as long as it's brown. Yeah. <laughs> and once you hear that about six times, you're like, <laughs> so funny. With the build a bamboo stencil, all you need to do to get these leaves on the top is I've just flipped it round one eighty, and you kind of just line it up with whatever you yeah, fancy. Yeah, it kind of does. It works best if it's like. See this one here? I yeah. Can put it at you do it the top. top of that one. Oh, that and then this one lines up. So, we well, just have to move it a wee bit. Scooch, scooch, scooch. There we go. For our flower power stencil, you rotate it 180 degrees perfectly so you can line it up. But for this one, um, we couldn't quite get it to work at 180 in order to get everything fitted in. Oh, look! Oh, they're coming back. through now. Come on! Hurrah! Amanda is my singer. The sewing machine? The sewing machine? <laughs> <laughs> is a year older than me and has a big white housing. Oh, not sure. A year older than you, so what's that, 23? Huh? All right, I've got my banks on here. I actually think that looks really cool inlaid in there. Right, stick it in For there. those of you who didn't see, I added a little bit of memo tape to the back just to hold it in place. How pretty is that with the blue against the background? So How pretty. Let's get some, get some wet glue on here, Mr. Gluebox, where are you? So I've used the same two Distress Oxides that I did on my frame for my Build a Bamboo. What was that? Um, so that's peeled paint and it was Rustic Wilderness. Yeah. And I use Kitsch Flamingo and Kitsch Raspberry for this. Hey you guys, it's a long weekend for us. Woo you doing anything, Morgan? I, I'm i actually busy every day this weekend, so I'm already mentally exhausted. <laughs> Good luck with that. Amanda says my eldest daughter is 24. Woo! Matching. Yeah. I'll just make you feel old now, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Circle Viewer says, that's brilliant and adorable bamboo stencil. Oh, I've got a bit on the camera after all you that. See? Well, hi, you look, look at the pink, look at the pink. Oh, so pretty. Oh, those splatters are just fab. Aren't they? Oh, I think that looks really cool. She's so pretty. Now, part of me is wondering if I should add a bit of pink coming back around, but maybe that's going to be very weird. Are you getting comments through your phone now? Fine, yeah? Um, I don't know. Uh, Circle Girl says, love the pink and the splatter. And Amanda Fisher says, yay! <laughs> Say hello, friends. Where did you come from? You were up here, weren't you? So, question. Do you think the these leaves stand out enough or do I need to put something behind it to make it pop against the background because mm. I think it looks okay from here but when I look on the screen over there it looks like it kind of blends in too much it could just be the screen 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test drive, okay? We're gonna test drive. We're gonna test drive. Sure, why not? I need a white, I could do pink, I could do a little, a little, uh, a little lighter green. Mm -mm -mm. Ta da! See, you don't even see that, but we do a little bit, fine. Yay, we'll cover, we'll cover them up. Ha ha! Can we stick you on there? Mm hmm. Hmm, I'm thinking. A dangerous pastime, I know. Mm -hmm. Inject it. I feel like this net is the wrong way around for catching some koalas, but never mind. She's just really bad at it. I feel like if we put the phone in the other hand, it's like stupid texting. <laughs> well, that's why she isn't catching any koalas. Don't text and watch koalas. All right, so I'm gonna be controversial and die cut this in this color, pink. This color, pink. <laughs> this color. Making making sure I've got the right corner, which is down there, and I need it to about here and here. So let's do it. We shall attempt this. Don't want me to try and hide my rogue ink spot. I can have some hanging like that. That's quite fun. Flying tiny baby koala. You know the way um, baby kangaroo is called a joey? Uh -huh. Is there a name for a baby koala? I feel like it might still be joey. You think it is? I think baby wombats are joeys. But then I don't know if joey is because they're from a thing? pouch. But doesn't koala, do koalas have not pouches? I don't know if they have pouches or not. We need Ali. Google! <laughs> yeah, we need, we need. We need Ali. On the job. Oh, nice! Now I just have to stick everything down. It's a koala, Joey! Ah, nice! I'm convinced now every, every baby in Australia is now a Joey. A Joey! So these guys are going to go on the top of the frame. It is possible! And she's going to go on top of the frame. Boop. All right, so and I have to stick these down, and slightly regretting having my foam tape on there. But let's not live life with regrets. Let's just hashtag deal with it. <laughs> Laura says it's a marsupial thing. Because they have the pouches. Have you ever like seen a picture of like a kangaroo and the pouch and it's like you're literally looking inside their body? Yeah, it's weird. It's I don't very, like it. very trippy. Okay. Now, I'm about to stick my koala down, but if you did the blog hop, you'll notice Amanda cut her amanda stevens oh here, yeah them amanda she's hanging out with us oh my defender is here too never mind yeah i know both amandas um cut around his little feety in his belly here so that he could wrap around the tree yeah and she shows you a close-up picture yeah too. so you definitely want to check that out because i'm just sticking him on here a little bit casual like And then I'm going to put my frame on with some film tape. And remember, we are equal opportunity film tape. <laughs> equal opportunity. <laughs> but let me stick her accessories on first so they don't go walkabouts. 
What's her name? I don't know. I feel like she needs to be called Jane. Jungle Jane. Yeah. That is actually uh, that green nail polish that I've got is called Jungle Jane. Is it? Yeah. Amanda says the A team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, I'll stuck her hat on. Alright. So I'm putting back the foam tip on the back of this. And layering on this in pink. So I don't even know if you're probably on the camera, you're not even really able to see very much action here. I think you can see it. The problem we've got is the monitor's further over here. Yeah, we're like, okay. We're trying to like squint. No, I should have had my glasses on for this to test out how they work for crafting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the problem is I then wouldn't be able to like see if I looked at the camera. <laughs> yes. Also true. Hopefully this will work. So I've stuck baby koala on top of mummy koala. He's hanging out. I've been hanging around. Did you know that my, when I was young, my daddy would, um, that is not even the correct piece of that diary. Um, when I was young, my dad would breed, whatever they're called. Koalas? No. Budgies. Budgies. And every budgie that we had in our house was called Joey. So if, as soon as one would pass away, my dad was just like putting in a different Joey. You're in Joey 2.0. Yeah, but um, when I was very young, we, I didn't even know. It would just be like, <laughs> Joey's not blue, he's brown like that. And it would just be, oh, oh. funny that. <laughs> that was never really explained in any um, extensive way. Here it is, I found it. Ooh, actually, will I see if I can put a sentiment on here? Yeah, that's fun. That'd be fun. Super fun. Seeing as I've got these, this is the wild at heart sentiment. And I think I'm going to pop them on here. Use my Misty though. Whatever Misty is living these days. Ah, there he is. I think it's got lions in them. Oh, and a tiny die from somewhere. Can I press the camera? Hmm? Press the camera. Do you want the front facing camera? No, no, I just want it not to. Oh, so it doesn't go off. Hold on, bear with. Alright. One thing about this day is that there is a wee a lot of uh, debris happening. <laughs> a debris die. <laughs> a debris die. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I want to put these capybaras back where he lives. Where do capybaras live? Now you're asking interesting questions. Where are they? Oh, here they are. See if I can go and walk them out. Walk out. Oh, Is that an Australia uh, pun? I don't know. Do people walk about a lot in Australia? <laughs> Oh, I maybe it's because in Glasgow there was a bar called the Walkabout Bar and it was in like an Australia thing. Really? Yeah. I, I have no idea. Then, I don't know what it means, but anyway. We're really showing our ignorance in this stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just, we're just uh, furthering our knowledge of yes. things we didn't know earlier today. <laughs> we're just opening ourselves up for learning opportunities. That's the one. <laughs> Making sure this is properly butted up against these corners because I don't want him moving. Ooh, 
he'll just fit on there. In fact, will he fit on there at the top? No. Trying to fit the B from birthday on here. There we go. If it doesn't go to plan, we'll just put a strip of these over. Mm-hmm. Strip the V's. Strip the V's many a day. Strips of ease and a white gel pen. You can't go wrong. Yes, that's your get out of jail free <laughs> card, isn't it? Here we go. Nice. I'm missing a corner there, but I don't think I'm going to care. <laughs> no. I have managed to cover up most of my foam tape, so I'm going to need to come in with a little bit more tape in a few areas here. Otherwise, I run the risk of my card falling apart, and nobody wants that. Complete opposite of what you want. That's scandal. Right, so now we're all good to go with that. I feel like I'm going to have to pop her behind now, otherwise, she's going to cover my sentiment up, but that's okay. She's over there. Jungle Jane. Jungle Jane. Or G.I. Jane, do you remember that? I uh, I remember G.I. Joe. One of these nostalgia things for Keenan. G.I. Joe. <laughs> He's slowly getting me caught up with all of the uh, Transformers movies. Oh yeah. So we've watched the third one now. I'm really enjoying them. I think they're like good fun. Right, I'm gonna call that a day because I'm fed up. I'll say well, you can't see our phone now, but it's there. Just call it. Just phone it. Bring, bring, there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh you could mean you phone? could trim away that little. Oh, I could trim just that. Right, right, here, here. use these. These guys will get it, get you in there. All right, there we go. Don't stick down there, so alter the frame a little bit. Yes. So hopefully our um, trimming away at frames and things will show you actually how versatile. Not how comments come through in here again. So I feel that it oh. may have. No, we're okay with that phone. Either that or it's the stream that's gone. Oh no. There you go. You can see their phone there. Up there. See? That work? That worked. I think mm -hmm. I'm going to stick the frame on with a bit of foam tape. Could you pass me the Hoover again? Where's he living now? He's over there. Yeah. Oh, great. There we go. Oh, hello. I forgot about these boys. Better not hoover up any of your shenanigans. Awesome. Can you away? Can um, I don't know where he came from actually. I think he's in there. So pretty. Okay, let's look. Is up. he from? I think he's two by two. Yeah. Are you one of the leaves, sir? Yes, you are. All right. So let's get this. Sorry, right, I put those scissors away and you're trying to use. Them. Okay. Oh, rude. I was going to use some thicker foam tape on this, but seeing as this foam tape is unraveled, I'll just use that to get through it. Have you got the center of him? Or is he? Center of who? The foam tape. Just oh no, I just snipped it off the edge. Hello, sir. You're so polite, Fonty. 
Gotta be nice to it, because obviously, yeah, uh, feeling a little bit under pressure. Under pressure. Loving this. Looking great. My main squeeze away. And see. Where these adorable little boys are going to go. Rogue phone tape there. Can you run away? Well, I got them, so. I figure I'd put the, this guy in. I feel like my main squeeze ends up just covering all the lovely design. Uh, I should put it on the inside as a surprise. A surprise! He looks cute there. And I might put him in the inside. Let's stick a moon. Oh, well, apparently that's going to have to stick there. That's fine. Fine, you go there if you want to go there. A rogue capybara. Yeah. It happens sometimes. Alright, so let's try and get everyone lined up nicely on here. Nice. So we can either pop my lion on here as well, or like you say, put him on the inside. But I think I'm going to just keep him for a different card, maybe. I was trying to think of a pun there, like save him for Lionator, but mm, that, that doesn't work. work no. That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll finish this off with some in Amble Dots whenever I have such a thing. Uh, Amble Dots. I thought they were going to show up today. They might, because it was after you left yesterday that the other box turned up, so who knows? That's rude. I'll just need to start leaving earlier so they show <laughs> And that's what it is. So here we go. We've got two cards. We've both used the Go Wild frame die um, in different ways. So hopefully you can see that we have lots of versatility there. Let's flip this round and give you guys a closer look. Here I've used it with the cinnamon scallop peekaboo dies and two little cute capybaras for lots of fun. Loving my vertical vines in the background too gives that a very tropical jungly theme, doesn't it? Yeah. If you hold yours up, what have you used? So here's the Go Wild Frames again with the Quality Hugs stamps and the Farmyard Fun stamps and that net is from no matter what and the Build a Bamboo stamps on the background. Yeah. And I think I really like the way that you put this at an angle. It's totally it to hide the crimes, more, but it really works. <laughs> it looks more like it's they're coming in now. It looks like it's um more cohesive. I love your splatters too. Looking good. Fun. There you go. Visions in green. Oh yeah. Indeed. Fine, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget. Oh, Candy says, love these. Great job, ladies. Laura says, fab card. Thanks for the live. Thanks Sarah for joining Lewis us. Jumping away. Oh, well, we're finishing up now, too. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget that you can um, check out the the release blog hop. 
Yep, sure. Mm -hmm. That's still on, and you can still comment um, and be in with a chance to win. Mm -hmm. Win a voucher for the store, and let's lots of goodies there that you could spend your money on so that's good and um also check out the actual hop and everything that's on it because there's some fabulous projects and um, if you come on over to the store you'll also see the, um the new products on the front page and there'll be the little graphic of how you can get your main squeeze stamp and um if you click into each product and go through there's so many projects showcasing each of the products so if you see something today and you're like quite like that but I'm not sure if I'd use it you need to come over to the store and have a look scroll through it really makes a big difference and the uh, design team have made fabulous fabulous projects um, and a lot of them just showing real versatility so that's brilliant thank you so much you guys we shall leave you for now and until next time happy crafting